So this video will be considering finding the percentage of a value and we're going to start with some simple percentages. We're only going to look at multiple of fives like 10%, 15%, 25%, those kinds of percentages. Furthermore, we'll only be looking at finding the percentage of values that end in a zero. And we're doing this both to give you an introduction to the topic, but also because that reflects the level of difficulty that you're likely to find in the year one exam. So let's start with an example. So we want to find 50% of 300. Now you might remember from school days that 50% just means half. So that's the same as saying a half of 300, which is just equal to 150. So 50% is the same as a half. The next example asks us to find 25% of 240 and again you might remember that 25% means the same as a quarter and you can probably have guessed that anyway because 25 itself is a half of 50 so it sounds reasonable that 25% means a quarter. Now to find a quarter of any value you halve and half again. Well half of 240 is 120 so half of that again will be 60. So 25% of 240 is equal to 60. What many of you will have forgotten or simply not know is what is the easy fraction that means 10%. Well 10% means 1 tenth. And this one is a very very important one for all of the questions that are to come. To find 10% of a value or 1 tenth of a value and if that value itself ends in a zero then you just ignore the zero. So here 10% of 60 is just 6. And it's this 10% that's going to help us to find any multiple of 5% of any value. Let's see how that works. So I've got two questions here. The first one asks us to find 5% of 80 and the second one asks us to find 35% of 120. Now taking that first one I always like to start with 10%. Now 10% of 80, well we just cross the naught off because it ends in a naught, so 10% must be 8, which means 5%, well 5% is clearly half of 10%, so that must be 4. So our final answer, 5% of 80 is 4. But that trick of finding 10% and then 5% can be used again and again. Look at the next example, 35% of 120. Well again I'm going to think about what 10% is, we'll cross off the noughts, so 10% of 120 is 12 and so 5% is half of 12 which is 6. But together this would only give us 15%. The way we do it is we look for combinations of what I consider almost menu items. How many 10% do I need to add and then how many 5%? Well I can see that I'm going to need three lots of 10% and then one lot of 5% and that will give me my 35%. So I could just add them up. Three lots of my 10% is the same as adding three lots of 12 and then add my 5. That will give me my 35%. 2, 4, 6 and 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3 and the one I carried is 4. So 35% of 120 is 42. You might have been inclined to do it a different way. Instead of doing add addition like I did, you might have said, if I want three lots of 10%, I'll just times 12 by 3 to give me 36, and then add the 6. And that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. It's not one set way, but this idea of the menu using the 10% and 5% and their combinations means that you can readily get to any multiple of 5. And you can see here that I've only stuck to the 10%, 5%. So I've not worried about the 50% and the 25%. We are allowed to use them and sometimes we will if we can spot a shortcut but you don't need them. Let's look at another example. Okay last set of examples then I'll give you some to do yourself. Let's find 60% of 140. Now because it's this ends uh, in a zero it's not a 65% or anything like that we only need to worry about the 10% so let's write down 10% of 140 is 14. 
well to find 60% I need 6 lots of 10% I could write down 14 6 times and add them up but here I'll try that other method of just multiplying 14 by 6 and that will give me 60% and therefore directly I'll answer well 4 6 is a 24 4 down carry 2 1 6 is 6 and the 2 is 8 so that gives me my answer directly 60% of 140 is 84 what about 75% of 260 well now that ends in a 5 so I'm going to think about both the 10% and the 5% well 10% of 260 is 26 and 5% well I just halved that which is 13 now I've got to think of how to get to 75% well I could times the 26 by 7 and that will give me the 70% well 6 7's are 42 2 down carry 4 2 7's are 14 and the 4 is 18 and then I'll add to that the 13 2 and 3 is 5 8 and 1 is 9 so it's 195 and finally 15% of 40 well 10% equals 4 5% equals 2 well 10% and 5% is equal to 15% so 4 and 2 is 6 our answer of 15% of 40 equals to 6 now one of these three questions the 60% the 75% and the 15% has a nice shortcut you might have spotted it, it's that middle one there. We spotted on the first slide that 25% was the same as a quarter. So you might remember that 75% is the same as three quarters. Well a quarter of 260 is where I half and half again. Well half of 260 is 130 and a half of 130 is a 65. So one quarter is 65. So three quarters must be where I add 65 three times let's see if I get 195 5 10 15 5 down carry 1 6 12 18 and 1 is 19 another way to do that 75% might be to do well I'll add 50% and 25% for that matter that might allow you to think about the 60% and say oh that's just 50% add 10% does that work well 50% of 140 is 70 10 percent we know is 14 70 and 14 is 84 and that's what we saw here so don't be afraid to experiment I would definitely advocate using the 10 percent and following from that the 5 percent rule because that is a guaranteed way of getting to any multiple of 5 percent values particularly when the numbers end in zero however once you become comfortable you can look out for shortcuts so in the, that vein I want you now to pause this video I have three questions for you to do have a go at them obviously pen and paper without a calculator and see how you get on and then when you unpause it I'm then going to show you the answers so there are the answers see how you did and if you feel you want more exercise, more um, practice on this, there is an entire exercise on finding the percentage of a value on the PDD Numeracy Moodle page. Thanks ever so much and good luck with your practice.